Hello, this is one of those old-fashioned just-looking episodes. So there's no plan whatsoever. It's just looking and thinking about what you see, when you see. I mean, if you look at that dark bit here, standing in front of a tree, of course, that's obvious. But, I mean, what do you think when you look at bark like this and you see all these lines and these changes of color? What comes to mind? You know, I always go into Grimm's fairy tale kind of mode when I see things like this. That the tree, it, 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 of course it's alive, but it seems as if it's talking, as if it's saying something. That's what uh, part of my imagination puts together. And even though there's a part of my brain that says, of course that's not the case, I do like the idea of, I, I don't know, just always having this alternative take on the world around you. Um, looking, yeah, about looking. For me, what I do with looking is if I'm bugged out or stressed out, then I just stare at things and and try to just see what's in front of me. No judgment, just, you know, no, oh, here's some bark, it twists and turns. Here, for example, in the center of the image, you've got that sort of eye-like um, scar where a branch was probably taken off. Uh, now you have that tube thing like a chimney and I just look at the world in that way and I find it gives me the space in which to you know, calm down and whatever anyway that's uh, the tree there what we're doing now we're walking we're in um, is it Beatrix Park I, <laughs> I hope it's Beatrix Park before I start telling you we're in the wrong place but it's just a quiet bit of, of the place and I thought this is a good spot to stop and look. You know, look at the fence and imagine what goes on beyond there. Are there squirrels? Are there animals? Are there people hiding there or living there? You know, all kinds of possibilities. Ah, oh, the sun's coming, that's nice. Gives us a bit of shadow to look at. Shadow adds to the mystery of all places, as you know. So just glancing at shadow twirling around, seeing um, one visitor to the park cross from right to left, a couple more visitors, and there we've got uh, a bit of sunshine blasting away, <laughs> you know, those low winter suns, well, I suppose it's dramatic, it helps the, the imagery. Uh, here we have uh, this tree here. This tree has definitely has some uh, fairy tale qualities. Something about those leaves, you know, that if you pluck one of them, the tree will start dancing and shimmering in an odd way. And uh, who knows what will happen after that. Anyway, the sun has just vanished or skedaddled <laughs> behind a cloud. Uh, I'm laughing because I said the word skedaddle. I like it. Um, so here's a sort of rather gloomy twirl, final gloomy twirl. And you can just look and see and think and um, enjoy, really. Okay. <laughs>